dear viewers greetings in this present video we are going to see about metachromatic granules staining the aim of the metachromatic granule staining is to stain the metachromatic granules of cornibacterium diphtheriae by albert staining procedure uh, principle uh, metachromatic granule staining or albert staining technique is a type of special staining technique as since it is used to demonstrate a special structure in bacteria and it is uh, chiefly used to demonstrate the metachromatic granules uh, found in the cornibacterium diphtheriae which is uh, gram positive bacilli uh, this cornibacterium diphtheriae is uh, responsible for the disease uh, diphtheriae and the name cornibacterium is derived from the greek word that is the corin uh, which refers to the club shape of the bacteria seen in the old cultures the metachromatic granules are made up of uh, polymetaphosphates and are also known as, uh, known by various other names such as uh, volatin bodies uh, babe sanus granules or polar bodies uh, the storage granules in the bacteria are called uh, uh, metachromatic granules uh, because it exhibits the property of metachromatia wherein the granules appears in a color other than the color used for the staining for example uh, when stained with the polychrome methylene blue the granules appears violet uh, while the rest of the bacteria appears blue the bacteria produces uh, the granules in abundance uh, when grow on the nutrient rich medium such as uh, low flat serum a uh, low flat serum slope and uh, next uh, two types of reagents are used in the metachromatic granule staining process they are albert solution a and albert solution b and uh, the albert solution a consists of uh, toluidine blue malachite green glacial acetic acid and ethyl alcohol and the albert solution a acts as the staining solution the second solution is the albert solutions b it contains iodine and potassium iodide in water and the albert's uh, solution b act as a moderant that is uh, an ion element that binds and holds a chemical dye uh, to make it uh, stuck on the bacteria and uh, when stained with the albert stains uh, the cornibacterium diphtheriae stains uh, green whereas the granules uh, stain bluish black Uh, metachromatic granule staining also helps to distinguish the cornibacterium diphtheriae from most uh, from most of the uh, short non pathogenic diphtheriates which lacks the uh, metachromatic granules and next the materials required for metachromatic granule staining are uh, 24 hours culture of cornibacterium diphtheriae bunsen burner inoculation loop glass slide microscope albert stain a and albert stain b next to the procedure a uh, first prepare a thin smear on a clean dry glass slide and allow it to dry and fix with a gentle heat uh, and then uh, stain with albert stain a for 5 to 7 minutes and drain the solution uh, do not wash and after that apply the albert stain b for 1 to 2 minutes and finally uh, rinse with water blot dry and examine under oil emission objective and the observation and results uh, if the cornibacterium diphtheriae is present in the sample uh, it appears uh, green colored rod shaped bacteria arranged at an angle to each other uh, resembling the english letter l v or the chinese letter pattern along with the blue uh, bluish black metachromatic granules at the poles uh, this image shows the metachromatic granules and the cornibacterium diphtheriae cells the green cells uh, represents the cornibacterium diphtheriae cells and the bluish black in the edge of the green cells represents the metachromatic granules dear viewers thank you for your support thank you